morning welcome to a day in the life of a primary school teacher my name is jill and i am a primary school teacher for the mixed infant classroom so if you have infants or if you're not from ireland and you have children between five and seven years old stick around i'm just at home now this is my apartment and i am going to make my breakfast and lunch before school so i thought i'd show you guys also if you want to see what i wear to school this is well this is kind of what i would wear this is just a little shirt a little shirt and then like these wide line trousers they're just really loose and comfy so yeah let's make breakfast <laughs> So for breakfast I have Weetabix. I used to have porridge, but this apartment is way too hot for porridge. Sorry, it's so bright. There we go, it's kind of not as bright. Anyway, for lunch I have oh, a banana, a protein bar, a protein yogurt, because protein keeps you full for longer. So I normally just have those as snacks during like during the school day and then I have like lunch and dinner when I come home. So let's have breakfast now. <laughs> so this is my classroom. Just an overview. So I'm in my classroom now, hence why I'm talking a little bit quieter because people don't know I talk to a camera. I have my day planned already, just in my little planner. I just come in early, about a half an hour early to set up everything for the day because I find it better to set up in the morning rather than the evening. So that's just my little tip of the day. Because it's only the first month back, like it's still September, Junior infants obviously don't have all their letters yet, like we've only learned two so far. They do a lot of pre-writing activities, which is just practicing using the pencil, drawing different lines and patterns, stuff like that. So today they're doing this one where they have to draw stripes down on the sky. And this one where they have to go up the hill and back down the other side. Senior infants obviously have all their books and stuff that they can use. I'm just gonna set up for Ashter, which I probably won't talk you through, but I'll explain it all after. This is Small World where they, well, this week they're going to be doing school. They use that as our school and then that's the bigger school and then they to set it up with the people and the furniture and stuff. And then I pretend that this is like the yard. So yeah, this is their little art station that I set up. So that's just crepe paper, glue, and then there's the tree print. I draw it for juniors, but not for seniors. This is what they turn out like, just autumn leaves on the tree. And then like some on the floor for autumn time. The next role play, not role play, but the next after playtime is construction. So they have to build a house with those blocks. And the last one is teaching in the school. So they do role play of like teachers, whatever, students. Teaching life. So I have a little chalkboard and then the whiteboard there. And they bring their seats up and just act out like a little school day. This is my new reward system chart. Sorry, I'm covering the middle one because their pictures are on it. But it's just a chart where they start in the middle on the yellow and they go up or down depending on their behavior. It was hard to film that while I was covering their faces, but basically they start on the yellow in the middle and they, if they're good, they work up to the green and then if they're good again, they get up to the blue. And if they're at the blue, by the end of the day, they get a sticker for their reward chart which gives them prizes and then if they break any of the rules they go down obviously to the orange and then to the red but they can still work their way back up to the blue even if they get down there so 
it's kind of like a personal self-assessment of behavior i'm finding that pretty good this year because last year was a little bit noisy and chaotic at times so i feel like that they can see visually where they are in behavior hi guys it's um lunch time it's 20 past 12 so this is the lunch that i'm allowed have my lunch the first little lunch i mind them on the yard and then big lunch another teacher minds them so i normally have my little snack and then i correct their work from during the day if there's any corrections then after lunch i can get them to do them so i'm just going to sit and correct those now i'm just finished all the correcting now and i am going to plan out my day for tomorrow while i have a few minutes to spare i'll show you what we're doing tomorrow when i get it done So this is my day for tomorrow. Sorry that it's messy. I had to use Tipix because I forgot tomorrow was Thursday, which is PE day. But I have their prayers and their news in the, in the morning. So that's just the days of the week we do there. Um, then they have their phonics for seniors and juniors are learning their new letter tomorrow, letter T. Ashter is what I showed you today lunch then at quarter past 10 we have their rhyme afterwards to sell them in irish run lesson 10 tomorrow which is all about me and myself pe is tomorrow so that kind of takes up a good bit of the afternoon then i come back in and we do story time at 12 10 past 12 we have big lunch and then after big lunch we do geography so it's going to be all about my family tomorrow and religion just before home time and half one is home so that's the day all planned out for tomorrow I'm just home from school. I'm playing with my puppies. I'm just gonna make myself some lunch. Thinking I want pizza for dinner. Midweek pizza treat, maybe. I think I'm gonna end this video here, but if you enjoyed watching my day in the life of a primary school teacher, or if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. I know not everyone follows me for my teaching content, so if you do, please do give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next one, if you wanna see one. Bye. Say bye, Bailey. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Say bye.